I was trying to create my first Android game for last one week and finally I made it and I tried to test it on my Android device and noticed that the game is running at barely 30 frames per second. So here is a quick fix for that problem if you are also facing that. So let's start with it. Well this is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial. That means if you are new to Unity that is fine you can just follow me along and then you can get the problem fixed. First of all, you need to understand which scene is going to be loaded first when your game launches. In order to understand that, you can just go to File, then you can click on Build Settings. And here you can see multiple scenes here. In my case, I think it's around 7. In your case, it may be 1 or 2. What you need to focus is that the Build Index. Here the Build Index is 0 for my scene called Home. So that's going to be the first thing that loads when my game launches. You need to identify which scene is having the Build Index of 0. Once that you identified that, you can just go to the scenes and you can find the scene with that name. Here I can find home here. Double clicking on that will open up the level. Here in this level, on the left side, I can right click there and then I can create a MD game object. I can name whatever I want here. I can just put a frame rate manager. Once that is done, you can just click on it and then you can click on add component. Here you can click on new script. And then you can just write a name called frame rate manager and then create and add. So that will create a script and it will get attached to the MD game object called frame rate manager. Now you can double click here and that will open up your code in an editor. Here you can remove all the code, existing code. Then you can go to the link provided in the description where you can see the complete code. You can just uh, copy it completely and then you can come here and can paste it so i'll explain what this script is about i'm not going to go line by line and explain what it is i'm just going to give a overview of what this code is doing here basically we are creating a awake function and it's called so awake function is something that is called whenever the script is first initialized it sets the target frame rate to maximum possible value and then start a coroutine called wait for next frame this coroutine runs continuously in the background and wait for the end of each frame before updating the frame time. The frame time is then compared to the current time and if there is a positive difference, the script will pause the thread for a certain amount of time. This helps to ensure that the frame rate stay at or near to the target value as specified by target frame rate variable. So that's all about the script. Uh, but one thing that you need to make sure is that the name of the script is matching the name of the script file so here it is mentioned as frame rate manager you can just go back to unity and then you can see here it is mentioned as frame rate manager so here you can see one more editable field called fra target frame rate here you can put 60 or you can put 120 that's up to you but i would prefer to set it to 60 frame per second so that every device even lower end device also run at the same frame per frame rate once that is confirmed, you can just go to file and then you can build and run. Uh, that's basically it. Then you can connect your Android device and test a new build and see how it's performing. So let's see how it performs in my case. So after making those changes, now I install the new build on my system. This is what you can see here. As I suggested, the target frame rate are 60 now doesn't matter whether the target device support 120 hertz or not just stick to 60 frames per second so that it behave exactly similar on all the devices so i hope this helped you if you like this please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and follow me for more unity related tutorial